Alright, what's up guys? This is Jake, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can increase your store's revenue by using post-purchase upsells. And in this particular video, we're going to be using the Venga app to go ahead and do this. So Venga is actually an AI upsell assistant here that allows you to set up post-purchase upsells automatically with just one click. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set everything up. But before we get into that, I want to quickly run through the benefits of using a post-purchase upsell in your store. So to start off, let's quickly go over what exactly a post-purchase upsell is. So a post-purchase upsell is where you attempt to sell an additional product to a customer that just bought something from your store. So this is an upsell that would show up literally right after the customer completes the checkout process. So normally this would come up either on the thank you page or before the customer is even brought to the thank you page. This is where the post-purchase upsell would be coming into play. So why would you want to use a post-purchase upsell? So post-purchase upsells can be a great way to increase your AOV, which stands for your average order value. And an increased AOV means that you can spend more on acquiring individual customers and still be profitable. So a increase in AOV by say 10% allows you to spend 10% more on ads to acquire more customers, which allows you to efficiently outbid your competitors. So unlike a traditional upsell that normally happens pre-purchase, so sometimes it will occur after someone adds something to their cart or a action similar to that, a post-purchase upsell has no impact on your conversion rate since the upsell appears after the checkout process is already complete. And the cool thing about this is that with Shopify, you can have one-click post-purchase upsells meaning customers don't have to re-enter their payment information. So just with one click, customers can order an additional product, which we'll be taking a look at here shortly. So with all that said, why should we use Vanga in particular? So creating and split testing different upsells can be a hassle for store owners that are busy trying to run their business and generate sales. And Venga uses an AI algorithm that optimizes your upsells automatically, saving you the time and effort of having to actually go and set up and run these split tests yourself to figure out what performs best. The algorithm works very similar to the Facebook Pixel, wherein the more data it gathers, the better it's going to work over time. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump over into the Venga app so that way you can start setting up your upsells and getting them up and running. So in order to get started, you can go ahead and click the first link in the description to go ahead and install the Venga app onto your store. And then once you've went ahead and installed it, you're going to be brought to the dashboard of Venga here once you go ahead and initially open up the app. So the first thing we need to actually do is just go ahead and enable the app right here. So we just can go ahead and click on enable. And all we have to go ahead and do here is go ahead and open our checkout settings and select Venga as our post purchase upsell app. So we're going to go ahead and open up our checkout settings now. So we're going to open this up in a new tab here. And then we are just going to scroll down here and go ahead under post purchase page. And we're just going to select Venga AI and then click on save. So once that's saved, we can go ahead and go back and click on verify installation. And we can see that we have now enabled Venga and we're good to go. So this is what the dashboard is going to go ahead and look like. So we can see right here, it says Venga is learning. So this means that it's gathering data here. So if we click on this question mark, we can see that Venga, Venga's AI has three different phases, the learning phase, the optimization phase, and the enhancing phase. So what this essentially means is it's very similar to when people refer to cooking the Facebook pixel. So essentially the more data that the AI has, the more efficient the upsells are going to get. So it, Venga goes ahead and uses the behavior of your customers and then decides how it can go ahead and cultivate the best upsells based on that. So the longer the app is up and running on your store and the more uh, data it gathers, the better the results are going to be. So what we'll be able to see now is just by enabling the app, we already have upsells running on our store. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this demo store right here and we're going to just go ahead and buy a product and i'm going to show you how the upsell here is already working so i'm going to just run through this checkout process really quickly 
So I've entered all of the information here and we're about to go ahead and place the order right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on pay now. And now we can see here that after we go ahead and successfully check out, we are automatically going to be shown an upsell right here. So I went ahead and selected a, another product from our stores. So you can see we have two options. We can go ahead and buy it now, or we can go ahead and decline the offer. So in this particular case, I'm gonna just go ahead and buy it now. So we can see here with one click that we went ahead and additionally added another product to our order just by that one click. And we can see here that now we are sent to the thank you page just like you normally would be. So that's what Zenga does and we can see that it was automatically set up literally just from enabling the app. We didn't have to do anything. And what will happen is over time, the more orders that are actually placed, the AI is gonna get smarter and get better at recommending the correct products and ideally raising your upsell conversion rate. And then if we go ahead and refresh the page here, we can see that we're going to have our analytics and everything updated here on the dashboard here. So one thing you'll also notice here is that this green bar up here under Venga is learning, we can see that it's filled up a little bit. So we can see that now the AI has gotten a bit of sales data. So it's slowly starting to take in this data and adjust the offers to fine tune them to increase the conversion rate. And if we come down here, we can see we have our analytics here for the last month. So we can see our stats here from automatic offers and manual offers. So we can see that the upsell that we just bought here in the demo order was an automatic offer. So we can see it's showing up in red. If we wanted to go ahead and change the dates for the analytics right here, we can go ahead and do that with this option right here. And we can come down here below and we can see different metrics such as the amount of offers shown. So we can see two offers have been shown, one offer has successfully converted, and that gives us an upsell conversion rate percentage of 50%. And then we can look down here and we can see which one of our products is best selling upsell. So currently it's this watch, it's been shown twice, bought once, so 50% conversion rate here. And we can see the total revenue here. So if you have a lot of different products, you're gonna start seeing a lot of different data in here, and it's gonna give you a lot of different insight on which on which products in your store are converting the best through these different upsells. And keep in mind that all of this happens completely automatically without you doing anything whatsoever. But in the case that you do want to make a specific manual upsell, you can go ahead and do that also by coming in here and going to add manual offer. So if you go to manual offers here, we can see that you can actually create a manual one. So let's say that you wanted to actually split test and create your own offer. This is how you can do that. So right here, you can see that first we have to select an offer trigger. So whenever one of these items is in the cart, the upsell will be shown to the user. You can go ahead and either specify a collection or specify a product. So if I were to click on add products here, we can see we can go ahead and collect, select one of our products. Let's say we select this dress shirt right here. So whenever this dress shirt is going to be in the cart and somebody checks out with this in their cart, then this specific manual upsell is going to show up. So we can go ahead and come down here now and then we can give them this specific offer here. So this is where you can go ahead and edit the offer title and the offer subtitle and then you can select a specific product to upsell so let's say that in this specific case every time anytime somebody buys a shirt we maybe want to sell them a try and sell them a second shirt maybe in a different color or something like that so you could go in here and put in like get another shirt or any type of copywriting that you want to do here and then go ahead and select the specific product here so i'll just go ahead and select the dress shirt once again and we can see that now what this would go ahead and do is every time somebody goes ahead and checks out with a shirt, this manual offer would be shown here to get a, another shirt. And you could go ahead and add a second upsell on accept if you want, meaning if they accept this upsell, you can go ahead and try to upsell them on another product, or you can add a downsell, meaning if they decline this offer here, you can go ahead and show them a, another product instead. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and add this downsell really quick, and I'm gonna try and downsell the watch so in this case right here if I go ahead and come up here to offer status and click active and then I click save offer 
this offer is going to be pushed live. So now I'm going to go ahead and go into the store and we're going to take a look at what this offer will look like live. All right, so we're about to go ahead and place this order for the dress shirt here. So we're going to go ahead and just click on pay now and we should be brought to the manual offer that we just created here in just a second. So we can see now here that the manual offer is showing up. So we can see here, get another shirt, the title we put in earlier, and we can see that the shirt is showing up once again. And if we decline this offer, we should be brought to the watch offer. So if I go ahead and decline this offer, we can see that the offer for the watch is now showing up. So I'll just go ahead and approve that this time and we will be taken to the standard thank you page right here. So heading back over here so we can see that our manual offer worked just as it should. So that's how you can go ahead and create manual offers in here if you want. Now, obviously, once again, you don't have to actually use any manual offers if you don't want to. You can just choose to let the AI do all of the upselling for you. However, if you do want to create your own manual offers, that's how you can go ahead and do it. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the offers history tab here. So once this goes ahead and loads up, we can go ahead and see all of the history of our different offers right here. So we can see on this order, or 1004, which would be our Shopify order number, we can see the status of the offer. So we can see that this offer was seen, and we can see that it was an automatic offer. And then we can see that order 1005, this offer was purchased, and this was an automatic offer. And then we can see order 1006, which is the one we just did this offer was purchased and it was a manual type offer so this is where you can kind of just track all of your different offers in here as well and then lastly if we come over to billing we can take a look at the actual pricing of this app so you can start out with a free plan here which gives you one thousand dollars worth of upsell credits so we can see upsell credits translate into upsell revenue you generate with vega for free without having to pay an upsell commission so this means you'll get $1,000 worth of upsell revenue for free before you have to start actually paying for the app. And then after that, it becomes $9 a month, $9 a month plus 5% of the upsell revenue commission or $99 a month and 2.5% of the upsell revenue as commission. Now, one thing you can also do to go ahead and get some additional free upsell credits is if you go ahead and click right here under get additional upsell credits you can click on learn more and you can go ahead and apply an invitation code here so if you apply the invitation code of casual e-commerce and then click on apply code here you'll see that now you will jump from one thousand dollars worth of upsell credits to two thousand dollars worth of free upsell credits just by doing that so be sure to use the code casually commerce to get two times the amount of free upsell credits when using Venga. So with that said, that's how you can go ahead and automate post purchase upsells within your Shopify store in just one click using the Venga AI upsell assistant app. And if you want to go ahead and try out Venga, you can click the first link in the description down below to go ahead and install it on your store. So with that said, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos, and I will see you guys in another one.